So when you bought a Gateway 2000, they sent you, sent you a box like this and it uh, contained all like the hardware manuals, the backup CDs, diskettes, product guide, mouse pad, warranty information, stuff like that. Just a bunch of paperwork. And it's pretty cool that I got the original stuff with that P5133 that I bought. So let's take a look at this one here. This looks like, like the receipt and stuff. Now I remember back in the day there was two levels of support. There was the basic support and then there was what was called Gateway Gold. Now I remember with the Gateway Gold the level of support was a lot better. I mean the moment you called them you usually got a person on the phone within probably you know 10-15 minutes. It was really quick as opposed to the standard service where you know, you'd be on the wait, uh, the phone waiting for, you know, sometimes an hour or more, depending on how busy they were that day. And not only that, I think that was a time um, when, you know, in the late 90s when they started outsourcing all of the support overseas. So some of those people that you got on the phone could be somewhat hard to understand. So it looks like he got the Gateway Gold level of support. And right here is the original build sheet, which is pretty cool. Uh, P5133 Professional PC. Uh, he paid extra for that tower case. Uh, it's got 256K of cash, 8 megs of EDO, 3.5 inch, 1.44 megabyte floppy diskette drive, uh, 1.6 gigabyte IDE hard drive. I'm pretty sure that was a Western Digital is what Gateway used back in those days. Unfortunately, I no longer have that hard drive. Uh, the original owner has since upgraded it. So there's actually now a 20 gigabyte hard drive in there. It's got a 16X CD-ROM drive, P5133 motherboard and processor, 2 meg EDO DRAM video card, Windows 95, the Gateway Gold service and support, manuals, 104 keyboard, it came with the Microsoft mouse, a Crystal Scan 700 monitor, which would probably be the 17 inch version, uh, Microsoft Office 95 Professional. So that's pretty cool. And this is the price for everything. It breaks it down for you. Uh, the 133 uh, Tower PC, looks like that was $1,209 back in June 17th of 1997. The Crystal Scan 700 monitor, 455 bucks for a CRT back then. That's just the way it was, man. Prices were, were pretty high for computers. Uh, Microsoft Office 95 Professional on CD, 95 bucks. Sales tax, uh, $88 it says. And what do we got here? Is this the grand total? So it looks like here, invoice total. $1,846.95 for everything. Back in 1997. And this looks like another, oh, it's just a packaging slip, nothing really on there. Yeah, oh, looks like he, uh, back then, back in the 90s, uh, we had a website you could use and you could like price everything out, you know, configure it, see how much everything would cost. Looks like he did that here. So I see some things uh, highlighted of what he wanted and all that jazz, but you know this is over 20 years old now, so a lot of the ink has since faded. Oh, this is a pretty cool piece of paper. It's embossed letterhead up there at the top, Gateway 2000. That's pretty cool. Looks like it's just a dear value customer type thing. Uh, what does it say here? The Gateway products which you have received are considered to be the subject of a domestic transaction between Gateway and you, the customer. If, for any reason, you intend to export these products from the United States, please be advised that Gateway 2000 products are subject to the export laws of the U.S. as coded in the Export Administration regulations. Export of our products may require an export license depending upon final destination. And that's just blah, 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 blah. So, but... Pretty cool piece of paper. I like how it's embossed at the top with that gold gateway logo on there. I always like this logo a lot better than the than the newer logo that they came out with. And what else do we have? Looks like these are just uh, a warranty. Got a 30 day 
money back guarantee that was pretty cool three year limited warranty parts only you don't see that kind of uh, warranty or money back guarantee anymore in computers what else do we have let's see what's in this box or this bag Look at that, an original Windows 95 CD. Hasn't even been opened yet. <laughs> How cool is that? Man. Oh, he did tell me he upgraded the modem in this computer. So this must be the CD to the modem. And this is, uh, been, you know, Microsoft uh, application offer. Looks like they're trying to sell you more stuff. That's really nothing of importance. This looks like stuff he just uh, included later. Registration cards for the modem. So yeah, this must be all the modem stuff for the modem that he had purchased. Oh yeah, I remember these. Oh, these are cool. So when you bought one brand new, a Gateway 2000, they gave you uh, pretty much like a, a quick guide to set everything up, which I thought was really cool. Back in the day, I got my first Gateway, I think it was 1994. It would have been a Gateway 2000 P4D66, which would have been the 66 megahertz version. Had a PCI bus. And I remember this booklet because, you know, this was back when I didn't know anything about computers. So I, this was really helpful for me and my family and how to set this thing up. So, you know, basically it's just a... Uh, it's a quick step guide on how to connect everything. You know, this is just stuff you don't see anymore when you buy a new computer. You know, you actually, you don't even pretty much get anything anymore. I mean, everything's all digital. I mean, you gotta usually open up a PDF, you know, and if you're starting out brand new, I mean, how are those people supposed to connect everything? You know, if they don't know how to do it, they just assume today that you know how to do all that stuff. But back then, you know, computers were brand new. A lot of people didn't know how to do that. So Gateway uh, made this nice uh, info book here, you know, to help you get everything connected. Uh, that's a cool case. I always like the desktop cases too. Gateway did a good job. And that was the original monitor that I had with my P4D66. It was a Vivitron 15. And then they give you some pointers on Windows 95. How to transfer files, uh, turn it on, set up your time zone, install a printer, give you the basics, how to navigate within the start, within the start menu. How to format a floppy disk. I mean, that's, that's pretty cool stuff, man. Uh, gives you some pointers on Explore. Oh, it even has stuff for Windows 3.1 in here. Windows for Work Group. That's cool. That must have been back when they were shipping both Windows 95 and uh, Windows for Work Group 3.1. Man, you look at the menus to you know from you know in the pictures here, and they just look so archaic. I got Windows NT. So yeah, I mean this was pretty cool. Gateway 2000 Info Book Start Pack. So what else do I have? Got the original Windows 95 manual right there with OEM serial key. Not too worried about that key being shown. Microsoft Office. Looks like it's two discs. And yeah, it looks like it has bookshelf on there as well. And this must be the original modem that came with it. He has that in there. 
So that's everything in the box. Let's see what's in this baggie. Oh, cool. Looks like all the manuals for the hardware. I mean, you won't see that today when you buy a PC. They won't give you a manual to the motherboard. There's no way in the heck they will give you that. They don't even want you opening that machine anymore Why it's under warranty. But I learned a lot of information from these, uh, these books here. I mean, they're just so very, they're just so well detailed. I mean, I mean, tells you how to configure the BIOS, what the options mean. I mean, you just don't see that today at all. How to upgrade the BIOS too. I just saw that back there, how to flash it. I mean, that's pretty cool. <laughs> If that goes wrong, yeah, you're you're in a world of hurt. System board, removing the cover. So that's cool. It's one on the hard drive. Ah, it looks like it must have been a quantum hard drive, is what it came with. Original. I could have sworn they were using Western Digital hard drives a lot of the time. Tells you how to set it as a master or slave. Gives the cylinders, the head count, and the sectors, which is cool. That's what I loved about Gateway. You know, they just gave you so much information, so many resources. You know, if you wanted to learn about your computer, you could. There's the original monitor, Crystal Scan 700. I think this was the lower end monitor because you had Crystal Scan and then Vivitron. The Vivitron, I believe, was the higher end monitor. And if I remember right, this is going way back, don't quote me, but I think the Gateway Vivitrons were actually just Sony Trinitron monitors, CRT monitors, just rebadged. Ah, I could support up to 1280 by 1024. 60 hertz, cool. And that was a big deal back in the day. What we have here, oh, this is the graphics accelerator. Whoa, accelerator, eh? STB Verge GX 3D PCI. Ooh, got some horsepower here, man. Fortunately, we only had the two meg card. So we could only do 256 colors at 1280 by 1024. Too bad he didn't spec that one out a little higher. Get the 4 meg card. Tells you how to install the driver. Ah, it came with the Windows utility. That's cool. And then we have one on the IDE CD-ROM drive. New CD-ROM technology. That's cool. Oh. Well, just a lot of the basic type stuff, but you know, it was pretty Nice of them to include all this stuff. You know, I loved to read through all this stuff when I was a kid. I thought it was awesome. So that's pretty much everything you got when you when you bought one of these brand new. So let's go ahead and boot this thing up and do some benchmarks, man. Let's see how well this 133 does on Doom and Quake. I'm gonna boot up the P5 133. Gateway 2000. Pentium processor, 133 megahertz. It's got 80 megs of RAM. It's got a 20 gigabyte hard drive. And a Toshiba 16X CD-ROM drive.
Well, that boot up time wasn't too bad for a 133. So let's run some games and see how well it does. So the first one we'll do is we'll do Doom on Max Detail. So I'll hit option B here. Yeah, this is no problem for a Pentium processor, Doom. Runs super smooth. I mean, I remember running Doom on a 486 and not having any problems. So the score is 21.34 game ticks and 12.41 real ticks.
So that's the intro on my Gateway 2000 P5133. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe. Um, I have more Gateway computers that I might do some reviews on. So let me know if you'd like to see them. So long.